What's up guys, Xfuture here, and there's been some huge news overnight in the world of Formula 1, and I'm going to talk about that in this video, but I also just want to let you know that stick around right to the end, because after I finish talking about this, this is going to turn into a channel update video, I just want to talk to a couple things about talk to you guys about a couple things so anyway back into the formula One news if you have not already heard only it was in the late hours last night my time it was revealed that alexander rossi american gp2 driver currently plays second in the championship has signed with mana marusha effective immediately so that means and he's replacing roberto Mary, who at the start of the season only signed for half of the season if you didn't already know so he's actually done a quite well to actually still be racing up until this point. So effective immediately, Alexander Rossi is replacing Roberto Mary and now Will Stevens' new teammate. So from Singapore onwards, it's Rossi. Except for the Russian Grand Prix and the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, that is because, um, what should we call it? Alexander Rossi still has his GP2 commitments. So he's still going to be doing the GP2 races, not the Formula 1 races. That is because mathematically he can still actually win the championship, I believe. Highly unlikely, but he can. And the other reason is because he's in second place and he's still got a fight in his hands to hold that second place. So he's going to want to hold that second place. So for five of the remaining seven races this season, Alexander Rossi will be replacing Mary. That first race is going to be this weekend, as in tomorrow, Alexander Rossi is going to be driving a Formula 1 car. And it was only announced yesterday. So this is a big turnaround. And I'm really glad for the guy. He's I've been watching GP2 this season. And he's been one of the really standout drivers. He's been just solid the entire time. He's very, very good driver. And it's cool to see him jump up into Formula 1. Now, another quick note is... Now, this sort of makes me think differently to what I said in my driver prediction video with Jason. Like, last week. I now kind of think that we could see Stevens and Rossi at... Mana next year, and I also heard that Haas have said that they are not taking any rookies, they only want experienced Formula 1 drivers, so that of course rules Rossi out as a rookie. So that still keeps Vern and Gutierrez in contention, but another person you could see there, considering what's been happening with McLaren, is Kevin Magnussen. Possibility, he could be on the way out of McLaren, or he could still be tied down to McLaren, but McLaren sort of loan him like Red Bull and Ricardo to HRT. That's a possibility. But anyway, Formula 1 news out of the way. Let's get on to the channel update bit. So, this video is going up on Thursday the 17th, and I'm, in a couple hours, I'm actually leaving for the airport to go to Europe for my holiday. So, on Saturday, I've got four videos prepared. So, Saturday there's one, and then next Monday, then Wednesday, and then Friday. And then after that, there's not going to be any videos until I think it's um, probably the 5th of October is probably the next video after that. I get home on the 4th, so it's... I, and I get late, home late on the 4th, so it probably won't be till October 5th. So, after the video that comes out on September 25th, there's going to be out a week with no videos, unfortunately, but I'm going to go have a nice holiday, so yeah. Anyway, now the next thing I want to quickly talk about is a series announcement and possibly the end of a series that hasn't started. So, if you watched a channel update video not that long ago, I talked about a racing league called PRL, Precision Racing League, and me and Jason were going to do F1 2015, league racing. We've done some tests, and it doesn't seem like F1 2015 league racing is actually possible, just because of the state of the game and the service. It's absolutely horseshit, and it's probably not going to happen, but... Me and Jason and I are trying to talk them into making a Forza 6 league, because Forza 6 we think is quite good, and that could be a, that could work. So that could be a possibility. That could... The league racing could not just end completely, or it could turn into a Forza 6 league, ra league race. Now, the next thing I quickly want to talk about is there's a new series. I've sort of already done it. I did it with the um, hippie, hippie car, hippie van, whatever the fuck it was called. The, um, I've just blanked out my brain but i did it for that and i've done it for the jeep willis which is actually going to be the saturday video where i take it stock i test it i max it out and then i test it and i'm going to turn that into a series called maxed out hence the name i'm maxing the car out so yeah really creative name i know i know i'm just i'm so creative to come up with that but that's a series i want to do and the way that's going to work is 
For the next, uh, you guys are going to leave cars and track combinations, or just cars down below, or maybe you want to see me do a car on a certain track, or whatever, and I'll pretty much do that, so I'll do exactly that, I'll buy it, test its stock, max it out, as I said, hence the name, and then I'll test it maxed out, so yeah, that's something that I'm decided to turn into a series. Now, a quick note on that, the stupider the car, the better for that series. So, yeah, I'll just leave it there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video. Make sure you leave a like rating and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.